Greetings, Algebra. We're back solving quadratic equations. I'm gonna go over something called the quadratic formula today. I'm representing Under Armour Fishing. Check that out. Sponsorship, where is it? Maybe if you guys start liking my videos, you can get a sponsorship here, Under Armour style. These could be like plus signs instead, and, or a division sign. We can get some Under Armour stuff going. All right, here we go. Hopefully you recognize this form right here as standard form of a quadratic equation, okay? AX squared plus BX plus C. Now, this might look scary. This is the quadratic formula, all right? We're gonna take these values and substitute in to this formula. X equals opposite of B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Don't shut off the video. It's not that bad. Right? We're going to take some values and we're going to substitute it in. So instead of AX squared plus BX plus C, I'm going to substitute some numbers in there. So I am going to write a new equation. That's standard form. All right, my equation is 2X squared minus X minus 15 equals 0. All right, again, what we're doing when we're solving a quadratic equation is finding the zeros. It's also called finding the x-intercepts. We've graphed this parabola before. We graph that parabola, and then we see where it crosses the x-axis. Well, by substituting these values into this equation, we're finding the same thing. So the first thing we need to determine is what is A, what's B, and what's C? So if you remember how it was written before, AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. What number's in place of A? The coefficient on x squared. A equals 2. B is the coefficient on x. B equals negative 1. C is that constant term, so C equals negative 15. So you find out what A, B, and C are, and now we're going to substitute them into this equation. X equals, instead of B, we are going to substitute in negative 1. Instead of this B, we're going to substitute in negative 1. Minus 4, instead of A, we're going to substitute in 2. And instead of C, we're going to substitute in negative 15. And then right here, instead of A, we're going to substitute in 2. Now it's a big order of operation problem. So we're going to get x equals negative negative 1 becomes 1. Plus or minus the square root, all of this stuff. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 15. So that's negative 8 times negative 15 is 120. So this is going to be 1 plus 120. Again, just order of operations. I did the multiplication. I did the exponents. And now I'm adding it together. All of that over 4. So what happens here is this becomes x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 121 over 4. All right. I need to kind of erase this and I'm as big a whiteboard as I do in class, but this is where we're at right now. I'm going to erase everything else. So now this here, all this plus and minus means is we have two separate equations. We got x equals 1 plus the square root of 121 over 4, and we got x equals 1 minus the square root of 121 over 4. Square root of 121 is 11. 11 times 11 is 121. So this is 1 plus 11 divided by 4, which is 12 divided by 4, which equals 3. That's one solution. Over here, x equals 1 minus 11 divided by 4. That's going to be equal to negative 10 over 4, which is equal to negative 2.5. All right, I raced through that just to show you the first example. We have two solutions. If we were going to graph this parabola, if we were going to graph this parabola, they would intersect 
right there at three on the x-axis and right there at negative 2.5. Those would be our x-intercepts. All right, don't be scared. Watch the next video. I'll slow down. It'll make more sense.